Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I had a dream. I had a dream. Now the eyes of these fallen angels seem so unreal, so unnatural, as you could see their eyes glowing in the dark for, for miles away as they methodically destroyed everything and every, everyone before them and their destruction never stopped. They never paused except to when they disappeared and, and then reappeared somewhere else, some other city. Their eyes seemed so unnatural. I can only describe them as glowing red embers that seemed to be more portals to hell than actual eyes. And it seemed in the dark you could see their eyes forever. And when you could see nothing else, you could still see those eyes. Their eyes seemed to be almost hypnotic to most people. But if you stood and watched too long, uh, then you'd be dead. But there was just something about those eyes that once you saw those other worldly eyes, you could not look away. They, they drew you in. They drew many people to their deaths. Their eyes were more portals to hell than anything else. That is the only way I can describe them. Their eyes did not give off any light, but they glowed as hot coals of brimstone from hell. I became aware that I was in a, a crawl space under a floor of a large home and I was not alone. There were three or four other men that were under the house with me and the light was so dim I just could not tell just how many men there were under the house with me. Now I was there with these men and the fallen angels they were coming. They were making their way toward this very house. These men were frantically looking for anything to dig with, a piece of wood, uh, an old soup can, anything. And with what they could find, now they were frantically digging holes under the house to bury themselves in. Because the terrible sounds, the shrieking, the screams of many and many explosions were coming toward us and getting louder and louder. And at any moment they fully expected the house above them that would explode in a fireball and kill it, kill everyone in the home. Now their salvation as they saw it was in burying themselves under the house and possibly uh, save, saving themselves. I called out to the men who were digging the holes to bury themselves under the house. I, I cried out with a loud voice in hopes that they could hear me. I told them that their salvation was not in digging holes to bury themselves but was through Jesus Christ, and only Jesus could save them now. I begged them to repent of their sins, as these men were already humble and very sincere, but it was the wrong kind of sincerity uh, that their salvation could be won by the works of their hands. I cried out to them over and over, and almost screaming at them, but they could not hear me, and they could not see me. They were seeking the wrong salvation. Is that not what a lot of people are doing today? Digging holes to save themselves? And there are voices in the wilderness crying out to them if they would only listen. Many, very many who think they are saved are only digging holes, but not hearing the word of God. That salvation comes not from your hands or what you think or see, but only by your faith in the one true living God, the God of Israel. And only through his begotten, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, one must truly repent of sin and believe in his heart that Jesus is the Son of God, sent to this earth of a virgin to offer up his blood and his very life as payment for our sins. And all you must do to receive eternal life is to repent of sin, wash your sin away with the blood of Jesus, and believe that Jesus died for your sins, was buried, and arose from the grave on the third day. And that 
Same Jesus walked this earth again and ascended up to heaven inside of men, and Jesus now sits on the right hand of the Father, awaiting his glorious and triumphant return. And Jesus made us many promises, one of which was that we would, the faithful, we are not appointed to God's wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, which is 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 9. Yes, in these last days, billions of demons are bring, being released upon the earth. Nephilim are here. They also appear and disappear at will as they please. Do you not see people going mad, doing unspeakable things today, unlike never before? This will only get worse. There are tons of sightings, photos, videos of Bigfoot, spindly aliens looking creatures, UFOs appearing everywhere now. And I know some of these can be hoax, but not all of them. Have you seen the Bigfoot videos and photos from all over the world? Do you ever relate them to the Nephilim? They are Nephilim, as they are only sighted and photographed, but never killed or captured. And with all the sightings, and if they are in nature, naturally, why has no one ever exposed them to the public? Also, someone in the UFO community made a very interesting statement that when the Bigfoot is sighted, there are also reports of UFOs in the area of the Bigfoot sightings. And when the UFOs disappear, the Bigfoot sightings disappear as well. These are not natural creatures from the wild, but are in fact demonic, and they also can disappear and reappear, reappear at will as well. Our world is changing right in front of our very eyes, as more and more of the satanic is being released upon the earth, and every day it gets worse. We are now living in the last days, and we are living with many demons and now Nephilim walking among us. But the fallen angels will only show up in the tribulation. And Satan, he is the god of this world. And the closer we get to the rapture, the more evil will take control, and evil will expose itself more and more every day. So if you miss the rapture, this is a heads up as to what you, will, you can expect to come about. Billions will die. Trillions in property damage, famine, disease, war, riots, murder, fire bombings, pestilence, homelessness, no power, no water, no lights, a total blackout covering all of America, exposure, starvation, earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes, weather also will go mad, people will go mad, and nations will go mad. And America, America will be destroyed in one hour. The King James Version Bible says this, as it is written, it will be done. God's word will not return void. But we, the faithful, we stand on God's word. We will stand up for Jesus Christ and never deny him, no matter what. Persecution comes. We will remain faithful and true to our great Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Through it all, we will stand. God bless you and yours mightily. And may God hold you in his loving arms, just like he held me. You are a blessing sent by God, and we thank, give thanks to God for sending you to us with more love and more grace from above. Amen. I beg you to stay strong in the faith as we are going home so very, very soon. And we will look for you on those streets of gold one day, very soon. We will see you there. And as I have said many times before, I am only the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. God's grace be with you all. And stay faithful and true, because we're going home soon. We're going home so very soon. God bless you and God keep you, is our prayer. Amen.